Good morning, it's 5.11 in the morning. On Sunday, November 12, 13, 14, 15, four days before the government shutdown from the biggest thing. All right, so this is really quick, two minutes. I see many homeless and they actually have friends and family who send them money for food and clothes and necessity items. My mother lives 15 minutes away and other family members are close by and no one helps me. I see people in the psych ward I see, that have different clothes the entire time and I have to wear the same uncomfortable dirty gown and socks for over 7 to 10 days and have no clothes to come back home and they steal my sneakers and everything to go back home. Someone in the family brings them clothes and brings them food because their food is unedible. I get nothing at all. I have no family or friends when I get arrested. I have no money for phone calls or food or bail money or anything. It's like I have no family. She wants to treat me like I'm a ward of the state, a bastard, a broke ass, a nobody, somebody that nobody loves. In the time of need, I just cry and cry all my life because I know I have to wait. She will never come to my rescue. I have to let nature take its course. I have no choice. Everybody, even a peasant, has it easier than I do. I don't know why no one is listening or helping me. No one lends me a place to stay or any money to at all. You guys are really ridiculous. It's not that serious. Yo, Biden, head is like a fried egg. He will never understand me. He don't care I have a coat that I can eat, what I want that I can buy, a Big Mac or a New York strip steak or frozen drink or a cookie, chocolate chip cookie or cheesecake. He got a lava cake. He doesn't care if I need anything. He doesn't care. He doesn't care for people like the Pope who goes around to show his humbleness and, and wash people's feet all around the world. He doesn't care about missionary workers who go to countries and South American third world countries and help people and feed them. And he don't care about army members who go around to the necessity item. They don't only fight war, they go feed people and help people in civilizations and, and help people progress. He doesn't care about people who do non-profits to help other people and feed them and sh shower them and clothe them. He doesn't care about doctors who go fix pallets of children in Africa. He doesn't care about people like that. He doesn't care about me who finds cures and finds reasons of COVID and cures to COVID and, and, and gangrene and the legs so people won't get amputated and, and solutions for world climate changes and, he, and solutions for everything. He doesn't care for people who care to help other people. He doesn't care. I've never seen him or my mom do a good deed for anybody. They don't do good deeds. Why don't you understand? Just please resign. I need you to resign. I'm suffering. Queen Elizabeth's grandchild is suffering in the United States of America. Uncle Charles, King Charles' nephew, is suffering in the United States of America. Queen Letitia's nephew, Queen of Spain's nephew, is suffering. Prince Mohammed, a Prince Saudi Arabia's cousin, is suffering in the United States of America, Joe Biden. The Prince and Princess of Singapore's nephew, I mean the cousin of uh, Prince Mohammed's cousin, is suffering. The Prince and Princess of Singapore's nephew is suffering in America. George Washington's grand great grandson is suffering in America. Abraham Lincoln's great grandson is Amer suffering in America. Richard Nixon's grandson is suffering in America. Leo Eisenhower's step-grandchild is suffering in America. Ronald Reagan's grandson is suffering in America. Barack Obama, your, the one that gave you a job as a vice president's nephew is suffering in America, Joe Biden. Today you resign.